Meantime, CBS Health just reporting uh, its earnings after that other uh, report. Bertha Coombs is at the table. Good morning. Good morning. Just uh, getting those headline numbers right now. Both profits and revenues above expectations. Adjusted earnings of $2.09 per share, 10 cents better than the analyst estimate. $81.2 billion in revenues was up 10 percent year over year. Analysts had been looking for total sales up 4 percent on an annualized basis. Full year earnings outlook raised for the third consecutive quarter to between $8.55 and $8.65 per share from 840 to 865. The analyst estimate is for 855. But we've seen a number of uh, companies benefit over this quarter, particularly in the insurance side, from normal utilization. You haven't seen that huge bounce back, even as a lot of these pharmacies have also lost that tailwind of the big uh, uh, tailwind from COVID vaccinations. And again, on that settlement, CVS agreeing to pay about $5 billion over the next 10 years to settle outstanding state, local, and tribal opioid litigation. Bloomberg reporting that it's part of a tentative $12 billion global settlement that includes Walgreens and Walmart. Neither of them has confirmed that report. Last August, a federal judge ordered the three, they're the largest uh, uh, pharmacies in the country, to pay a $650 million in uh, damages in a suit brought by two Ohio counties. The major drug distributors reached a similar sediment last winter that will see them collectively pay about $19.5 billion. So we're starting to see some really big settlement amounts starting to go, and these will be paid over several years. Uh, Elizabeth Anderson, who is an analyst with Evercore RSI, says, uh, ISI rather, says that this kind of helps take a little bit of the overhang because it right. gives investors a view to how they're going to pay who these. still has exposure? I mean, we, we saw who's now part of this settlement. But I assume there's lots of others who are not part of this this deal. There's others that, and then are there other lawsuits? There are other lawsuits. There are other states that are still outstanding. Right. Walgreens still has a couple of states where they're they're facing lawsuits. Uh, obviously, that $650 million is not part of this global settlement. Right. And CVS does say it is going to defend against settlements that are, or suits that are not part of the global settlement. But the hope, I think, is that others will join in and maybe the numbers will rise and that way they can sort of get this resolved. Got it. Bertha Coombs, thank you.